what's up friends subscribers followers or just regular folks who just watch for regular entertainment who haven't subscribed yet maybe haven't made up their mind yet or maybe haven't taken advantage of that free subscription there's nothing better than a free subscription <laughs> anyways today I'm gonna go to Helena Montana to pick up some medical equipment there um, I still don't know if I'm gonna take it there myself or if I'm just gonna give it to another driver um, who's gonna be in Portland I guess we'll see if we get him something else from over the weekend or if we don't or how things will go but worst case I'll just go to California myself and deliver it um, you know best case scenario we will give it to another driver who's gonna be in Portland and he can go take it down there for a Monday delivery today's Friday by the way good Friday I like it great weather and uh, in Helena Montana I think I'm gonna go fishing over there because they have a, a dam over there and it's that Missouri River should be some good fishing over there I'm not sure if it's a salmon run yet but originally my plan was supposed to be to go tomorrow which is Saturday go salmon snagging in Montana there's such a thing as salmon snagging believe it or not so you just have a bear hook try hook you throw it in the water and snag them in and the limit is 20 per person so I was gonna go do that I heard Eureka Montana was good for that but then I also think and heard and still haven't made sure but also heard that Libby Montana has the bigger fish because Eureka has got them like 12 inches and I heard that uh, Libby has them like 16s 18s a lot bigger fish so if you guys know something about this I know there's a lot of folks from Montana that watch if you guys know about this let me know in the comments where is the best place for the biggest salmon to snag I know it's that time, so I want to know because I want to go. Well, since this place is a little bit, you know, far away from me, I decided to stop by and get oil. Either way, I need to change it already. So I got oil. I've got a oil filter. I've got an air filter and a cabin filter. Everything OEM, and I paid one hundred and eighty-seven dollars for it. So I get a discount here. How much is the oil now? So 747 per quart is my oil. 747 per quart. Not bad. So I got the two big ones and then this one's 747, which is a real good price because if you go to O'Reilly or somewhere else for to buy a good oil, not OEM Mercedes one, you're gonna be paying 10, 12 dollars a quart. So not a bad, not a bad discount. I mean everything before tax was 172 bucks for everything. And you get OEM filters and everything, so good deal. If you guys are in Spokane and you got a Sprinter, you can come and use the Eagle Express account and save yourself, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks, maybe more. We've driven through here so many times. I've taken you guys this route so many times, so I'm keeping the, the filming over here to a minimum, just not to repeat the whole everything. One thing I'm surprised at today, it's 69 degrees and there's people on two different occasions I saw tubing, you know, tubing on the river in two different places. That's a little extreme to me, I don't know. I mean, I understand if it was beginning of summer, but the end and fall at 69 degrees, I don't know, unless that water temperature is still super high. I count that as a little Montana extreme. Well, while they're deciding what's shipping, what's not shipping, I'm just hanging out outside. Here's a new MRI trailer. I don't know what they do. If, if either they bring like a uh, 
temporary one and put one here while things are being built or if this one's gonna be it here I'm not sure but my stuff is sitting under there and it's not what not everything we thought it would be and it's not even close and I don't know they're trying to figure out what I need to take what I don't need to take I think my I might end up taking everything but that's still to be determined so I'm just hanging out and waiting there's the beast waiting to be told what to do hope it doesn't take too long because I still got fishing to attend to over here which is more important than somebody not knowing what what I'm picking up it's a miracle I was told I can go and grab this by the time I finish my video I already got an email saying good to take everything and paperwork's already in the email so I gotta go tell these guys I'm loading up everything you guys have and I'm out of here so we're all good thank you Jesus now we got fishing time hopefully still gotta figure out where to go for that Not sure exactly how long this stuff's been sitting here, but I took care of it without a ramp. When you put it on that, with the van being where it is, super easy. I could have actually had it even easier if I would have went on there. Huh. Next time I'm gonna know. If I would have backed up to that, pulled everything onto that, it would have been even a lot easier. Would have been almost no lifting at all. But anyways, all did it by hand this time. I didn't feel like unhooking the ramp right now so strapping it in and getting out of here just put the cones back and get out of here because I think I got trout calling my name Andre 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 come get me come catch me okay looks well, good just like I just like it was here before I came so I think there's about two spots left maybe three that I want to try I'm just gonna look and see where the fishermen are at. If I see fishermen before my original plan where I wanted to go try, then I'm just gonna stop there and I'm gonna just go come up, talk to people and, you know, throw my stuff in the water and go for it. Problem is, the only issues that I have here is I didn't get a fishing license, so I'm, I'm license free. It could be a problem, maybe it's not a problem. The only problem I could see it being is me trying to fish in like the recreational park or the campgrounds or whatever. You know, the regular places where where fish and game stops by. But I don't think there's going to be fish and game uh, at the dam. So I want to try after the dam. Unless I see people, like I said. If I see people, then great. We're just going to go for it and that's it. Maybe somebody will let me jump in their boat and go with them that way to try to, to try to fly fish or see how the fly fishing works because I can't wait I'm itching to get that fish I've been watching a lot of fly fishing videos as well so good thing I didn't wash my van recording on a different camera one while one is you know oh look at that boat that's a good sign boats a good sign that one's charging, I'm recording in another one. We'll see how I'm gonna go back and forth two cameras, I don't know. More work for myself, I guess. But to show you guys, all for you peeps, all for you.
well, the road did show that I can go through, but they got a gate here. Here's a dam. Water's going. People are fishing. What does this mean? That means that's a good spot. There's people fishing on the other side as well. I don't know what's best, other side or this side. Gonna ask the locals, figure out what's up, what's best. There's some locals behind me that just got here. I got all excited. I thought I had a monster, but I was too slow. Well, ripped everything off. But you guys can see the fish. Just jump and jump and jump, and it's the salmon. Salmon's out. Okay, let's go retie. Oh, he got snagged. I don't know if you can keep him. You can keep him? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was beginning to think there's no fish in this lake, in the water, you know? I could see him, but I thought it was an illusion. So see, he got snagged, he got snagged. But I heard, I heard something bite on it, he got snagged. Okay. See, and you're just using a, a super crankbait too. See, it's pissing yeah. me off. Oh man, you got a mouth on you? I haven't seen one before. Man. These, are, these are the kind, a little smaller is what you can go snagging uh, up on Eureka okay. or you can go like uh, Libby and you can go snagging over there right now and it's going to end oh, yeah. as October hits so okay. another week left but you can go snagging 20 a day 20 a day? Damn. 20 that's the that's limit insane. I was going to go with my brother-in-law but I ended up coming here for work so he's going tomorrow to Eureka to go check it out
something big. Some kind of a fighter. I said some kind of a fighter over here. <laughs> Andre Andre Yep Oh, this thing's huge. Well, it's a good thing that I went where I went. I caught some fish. I caught, what was it? Two, ended up with two salmon. Um, I think four or five trout, or maybe five, somewhere around there. And about five walleye, I believe. Maybe a little more, I don't know, I stopped counting. The walleye, but got a few walleye as well. There's a, there's more small ones than the bigger ones. I think there's only like one bigger one and one like so so. But hey, it's okay. Only problem is my hands are itching like crazy. I am allergic to. You guys probably don't know this, but I'm allergic to the slime of the fish, and I'm also allergic to like slime of a worm warm too so I'm allergic to that slime so I got itchy hands then it transfers over to like if I touch my eyes itchy eyes I get all puffy and all that good stuff in there. And you guys don't need to know all those details heading home uh, 11 22 my home time but 12 to 12 20 local time a.m. And I got a, about a five hour drive home from here, so I'm going to be home in the morning if I, if I drive all night long. I don't know if I'm, what I'm going to do, if I should drive all night long or drive somewhere and just go to sleep somewhere. We'll see. I'll figure it out. For now, the trip was worth it because, for now, the trip was worth it because I got the fish. I got the load, everything went good, so everything's just perfect. All, all good. 
State Line, Idaho and Washington. 463 for diesel. I'm very curious how much it's gonna cost once I get to California. Looks like I have to go do it myself. Deliver this thing myself. I stopped by home for almost a full day. Washed the beast. Actually, Mark washed it for me. I was just kind of spraying, playing with the hose. That way I can get better gas mileage to California and back. Clean car means it dissipates air faster, smoother. Should be better gas mileage, I would think. Don't you guys think? Oh, also, by the way, these were all black. So the way to get rid of that um, brake dust that's in the front or even in the back, wherever. Mine were completely almost black. What you guys need to do is uh, use some purple power. Use purple power. Spray it on, leave it for a couple minutes, and then use a rag and water and it comes right off, wipes right off. Makes them look like new like that almost. Yep, purple power is the one. So I'm ready to head out. I got nobody home. Everybody's kind of doing their own thing. All that's left is me, myself, and I. And California awaits us. Today is uh, Saturday evening. And I got to be there Monday. So basically, I, sl I only slept three hours last night before I came here after the fishing. So I came home, you know, cut the grass, front, back, everywhere, did a few things. Changed the oil, changed all the filters. Um, you know, cabin filter air filter all the good stuff and that's it we gotta look inside of here yeah everything's still here okay that fishing poles are there my bed's not made i never made it besides that everything's good freight's still there it's all strapped in still e-tracks guys is the thing and don't put them too far apart put them closer together that way for sure even if you take smaller stuff then it slides on top because if you put them close to the wheel wells and they're further from the load the, there's no point of it the you know this first point is to strap freight in second point is so the pallets slide nice and easy on top of the e-tracks so you want to make sure that you squeeze them together you know good and tight or, or at least like this so that way the pallets can slide on top of them not on the you know on the ground it saves your floor too by the way just in case you guys didn't know made that